So do you guys remember the reveal of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? We actually did a podcast episode on that. You could check above. Uh, but honestly, uh, it disappointed a lot of Pokemon fans. They were expecting something much grander. Now, personally, I was fine with the reveal, uh, and I plan to probably actually pick up one of the games if not both probably at least one but i understand that you know maybe i'm okay with it because of the pokemon arceus you know pokemon legends arceus announcement but whatever fans were clearly disappointed that have been wanting a gen 4 remake forever uh and then this is what we get it's not really a remake it's just kind of a remastering um not what they were hoping for well leave it to the internet and pokemon fans to correct the supposed mistake that Game Freak and the Pokemon Company made and show us what fans really wanted by remaking the trailer in the style that Pokemon fans wanted to see. So now we get to see a pipe dream that isn't actually happening. But my God, I got to admit, it looks pretty good. Before I show you, I got to remind you, we're giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise and Two twenty dollar Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox gift cards. Head down to the description of the pin comment to enter. Uh, and also, if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. All right, let's just go. Here it is. Now look, I'm gonna link to this trailer down below. Uh, it's really, really awesome. It already has a crap load of views on YouTube. I think over a hundred thousand at this point. Who knows where it's gonna end up at? It might be a million plus viewer because it it, it it looks really good. You know, it's rough in some spots, but I mean, it's a fan made trailer, and even if this was the trailer they showed, even with some of the rough spots, I think fans would have been extremely excited. Uh, clearly, this wasn't going to happen once you realize that Game Freak themselves was working on a different Pokemon project and that this was handled by a different outside company, which typically Game Freak and the Pokemon company haven't trusted outside companies to work on remakes of mainline series in the past, which is, again, why Pokemon Diamond and, you know, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl look the way they do. But this fan trailer looks good. I mean, to be, I, to be honest, it's almost more exciting to me than Sword and Shield looked. It's not as exciting to me as Pokemon Legends Arceus, but hey... It still looks really, really good. Now, we're going to kind of run this back-to-back -back with the actual Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, uh, Sh Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Trailer. So you can kind of see the stark differences in style from what fans wanted to what we actually got. And it's either going to lead to you being more disappointed or it's going to lead to you maybe thinking that that's not the style you wanted after all. I have no idea. I'm not you. I'm not inside your brain. I'm not able to, like, rip out, you know, your thoughts and, and toss them on the Internet. But... Clearly, based on the like-to-dislike ratio, which at the time of recording this thing is at 11,000 likes to 198 dislikes, uh, clearly a vast majority of people that are seeing this fan-made trailer, this reimagined trailer, uh, are loving this versus what happened on the original trailer, which has a, like, a massive dislike-to-like ratio. So, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about it. Personally... Look, I'm okay with the way the the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, uh, you know, remakes, or I, I guess in this case, just call them remasters, came out because I like the original style of the games as well. So this is basically a continuation of that original style, kind of HD'd up. And I'm cool with that. It, it doesn't really bother me. Um, it's not maybe what you expect because typically when they have quote unquote remade games, they have done it in the current Pokemon engine at the time. So every time they bring an old gen back, it's been like, you know, Hey, it's redone in the current engine. That's what's so exciting. So people were kind of hoping that, Hey, if gen four comes back, it's going to be redone in the sword and shield engine. And it wasn't. So that's why people I think are disappointed because there was a bar of expectation set and then it fell short of that bar. And this fan trailer obviously uh, raises that bar and reminds you what you don't have, uh, which can be disappointing, but also kind of we're getting Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I think it was worth the sacrifice to kind of do a hodgepodge version here that's, to me, passable. I'll just say passable. I'm not going to say acceptable, but passable. Uh, so we get Pokemon Legends because I would have. So some people might argue maybe we shouldn't shouldn't get this at all. Maybe we shouldn't have the remasters. You know, maybe we shouldn't have Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl at all, and just have them focus squarely on Pokemon Arceus coming out next year. Like 
That is a fair Pokemon Legends Arceus, to be fair. That is a fair argument, I think. In my opinion, I, I can understand why you'd be like, you know what? Do that. Do po do your Pokemon Legends Arceus. Then task Game Freak to try to make, you know, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl look like this. Wait an extra year or two to get this version of the game. I get it. I understand it. The Pokemon Company has no one to blame but themselves. They set the expectations for what Diamond and Pearl in a remade fashion is should look like it should be done in the style of bare minimum sword and shield and they didn't go that route they went with a third party company who doesn't have the experience to pull something like that off and instead did a traditional hd route like we have seen with other games skyward sword hd might be even easier than that but i'm just pointing out that this isn't uncommon on switch but it's also not what has been expected from pokemon over the years and then obviously they typically add in new mechanics and it kind of looks like Brilliant Diamond and Brilliant Pearl is basically like a straight port that's had all the textures redone to look prettier and nicer in, you know, in widescreen format. And don't get me wrong, I actually think that this looks decent. It looks good. But, I mean, it's definitely not what fans are hoping for. So, first off, shout out to Millennium Loops. I will link to his uh, YouTube channel down in the description along with the video if you guys want to go subscribe he's a very tiny youtuber uh just over a thousand subscribers uh at the time of making this video of course maybe he's got more now uh who knows uh this is his first video he's ever technically uploaded so maybe this is the video that really jump starts his channel and then he starts to reimagine other games and art directions that people were hoping for i know personally uh millennium loops if you happen to catch this video one uh I'm not, you know, it's an open fan trailer. Uh, I'm happy that you made it. Uh, if you guys want the full audio and all that, the full experience, you should definitely should check out the original trailer uh, with the audio. But I want you to actually take a look at that Wii U tech demo for uh, Zelda and reimagine either Breath of the Wild or Twilight Princess itself, a trailer for Twilight Princess, in that Wii U tech demo style. I think... Zelda fans are really curious what would have happened if that Wii U tech demo would have turned into a game or would have turned into an HD remaster of Twilight Princess. I think that that is something I know I'm very curious for. And you're seeing that tech demo now. Like, dude, that, it, does this not look good? Like, this tech demo was crazy, man. I, I would like to see, you know, this person, uh, if they had this skill set to make this fan trailer that they're able to maybe reimagine other things. Uh, I, I feel like this is a, kind of a unique concept where someone can reimagine what games could have looked like. And instead of doing like these Unreal Engine 4 quote-unquote remakes, uh, screw that. Make these trailers and let us imagine. This is actually one thing I liked about the BitBlock back in the day when he was doing his series where he was imagining ideas and concepts for Nintendo games uh, where... Like, this is cool. Give me a trailer like this. That's all we need. Just keep making trailers like this. I think it's really cool. I think it's an interesting concept. Um, I'm okay with the way the games are, the, the Brilliant Diamond and, and uh, Shining Pearl. I'm, I'm okay with the way they are, but I understand this is the expectation that Game Freak set, and a fan at least lets us dream of a Diamond and Pearl remake that actually looks like this. So, anyways, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm just happy to talk about this. I love sharing fan content when it's worthwhile and creates a worthwhile discussion. Uh, you guys let me know which style you prefer, whether it was the fan-made trailer or the actual game trailer. Let me know which one you prefer down in the comments. Maybe we'll end up doing a poll on this later if enough people see the video. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.